in my last video, I said, uh, Kathy Lee, but I meant to say, uh, Kelly Ripper. Because obviously, women like her are basically, are a bunch of disingenuous hoes anyway. And that's all I have to say about that. I mean, number one, obviously, Michael Strahan has got a, a gig, I don't know, somewhere else at ABC. And obviously, for some strange reason, they paired Michael Strahan with this lesbian chick. We all know her, her, her name and shit, so obviously, I'm not surprised by it. But like I said, man, before, it's, it's gotten to the point to where, you know, the whole thing with these Western women. And, I, and, and, and like I said, man, I don't care if they change or not. I can care less at this point because most of these Western, these Northwestern women are just flat out disgusting. They're just a bunch of disingenuous, disingenuous whores. And that's just all I have to say about that. I mean, I watched the video that O'Shea produced. And he talked about how this white dude was simping over this female that was whooping his ass. That was whooping his ass. And, and let me tell you something, man. If any woman puts her hand on me in that way, in that fashion, you don't really don't need her. Because all she's going to do is cause you drama, headache, and stress. That's probably why so many stupid-ass, simp-ass idiots are in the cemetery. And I want you guys to pay attention. I want you to go grocery shopping. And watch very carefully in terms of who's really pushing the cart. Now, it's not hard to read body language. And it's not difficult because I've noticed that I've seen these women walking around. And the reason that these women got low self-esteem and low confidence and obviously... You know, it's it, it comes down to the fact that they it's just like you could just sense the fact that these women have low self esteem. You you can sense this, man. It doesn't take that hard to recognize. The other day I seen a a brown chick with a light skinned dude with some tattoos or a mix or whatever. So for these women that claim to swirl, let's be realistic. The only dudes that they'll ever swirl with is the next best thing, and that's just, that's his light skinned brother or whatever. So I want you to pay attention and go grocery shopping. And like I said, Tito, and shout outs to him, and he made a valid point on terms of going to these mixed clubs as well. Not only you should go to these mixed clubs, but you also should go grocery shopping, go to the malls, and really study couples, man. Really go out and study these couples. You know what I mean? And you can see the flat-out simpery that goes on. And like I said, man, there's there's some men out there that are just your enemies as well. Especially when you think differently than these guys think. I remember I got into a disagreement with another shine the other day telling me that I call this guy a simp because he's paying for dinner and all that other stuff. Now, here's the thing. I am not against a man that wants to go out and take a woman out to eat and stuff like that. I am not against that. But the problem is, nowadays, it's gotten to the point where you have to negotiate to take this woman out to eat, to get to know her. And it's like, why, why do I have to do that? It doesn't make any sense. And why the fact that uh, these women, you have to negotiate to, you know, get her phone number. And it doesn't make logical sense to me. And so I don't get it to a point to where it's like, it doesn't make any logical sense to me. But as they say, you know, look, you got to pay attention to these things, the little things, you know what I mean? And like I said, man, you know, I know that when I'm in Target, well, when I'm in a, in a liquor store, I don't mind saying hi to these women, but I'm out in public. I'm like, I really don't want to say shit to you because... And especially you North American black women. Y'all 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 sick. Y'all make me sick to my stomach. I mean, really. Most of you North American women, y'all y'all just y'all just make me sick. Y'all don't know how to engage a man. You don't know how to talk. you don't know how to have a conversation with him. And if it does not apply, let it fly. But 
a lot of you are just flat out disingenuous. And that's just what it boils down to. And I'm starting to see this. And, and this is why that you see some of these men grow up to be codependent, fucked up idiots, man. Because they, they, they get this from their mother. I mean, bottom line. It ain't nothing new. Matter of fact, I've seen a situation on a video by Old Che's video. And shout outs to him. That I've seen that this dude was stealing meat to go barbecue. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow. That the flat out stupidity of the majority of these ne of the majority of these good of these Negroes and the ones that don't engage, hey, if it does not apply, let it fly. But this is why that this is why the black community is just fucked up. I mean, bottom line. Now some of us that some of us that don't engage in this and, and some of us have woken up and, and smelt this. Like I said, man, some of these some of these niggas I only like dealing with, man, really, real talk. And that's just reality of this. And like I said, man, before, it, it's gotten to the world point where this world is sucking it. And you don't just see black people doing this shit. And, I, and then, like I said, give it a few videos, you'll see some white people doing the same dumb shit as well. And they grew up in a single family household. And trust me, this country has already gone to hell in a handbasket. And we're seeing it coming. You know what I mean? I mean, it's gotten to the point where this it's just it's just so pathetic and bad that it's like, damn. I mean, I'd rather leave the country my damn self. And right now, I got some things going on. Let's see how this my personal business and this is an investment. I don't want to say anything. It has something to do with my website. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna call the people and keep asking questions. And like I said, man, before, this Western world, it, it, it's really going under. It's really getting to the point where it's going under. The black community, it's, it's, it's finished. It's done. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, you elite, you white liberals, yeah, you won. You destroyed the whole United States. And if other countries invade this country, it'd be like, it's because it's your fault because y'all were too busy being greedy and stupid. I mean, like I said, it's gotten to the point where it's just so much gynocentrism. It's just really pathetic. Like I said, to you men out there, you can create your legacy. And you have a choice who you want to breed with. And I say this, you better choose wisely. And especially you, black man, choose wisely. Even if you are, even if you are um, going in interracial dating, choose wisely. With that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off.